it's like having a place of your own. It's not quite an apartment, but it kind of feels like having your own apartment. You have some sort of independence. I don't really splurge on materials. I splurge on activities. So it's like, oh, look, there's a concert coming up, and it's like 50 bucks a ticket. Okay, well, I'll just get it. They're more like um, celebrating their product and celebrating people who also celebrate their product, which I think is nice. So the essentials came first, uh, like accents came second, like I went to TJ Maxx like not too long ago and got like a soap dish and that, that sort of thing. Yesterday I believe I just got like pots and pans and like some sort of cooking stuff. So yeah, and then now I'm thinking about like a bed and furniture, like a dresser and just, and I think it just sort of progressed that way because I mean there are temporary solutions to like furniture as you can see. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely on the to-do list. I did um, use the checklist toward in the beginning and in the end, um, but I found that a lot of things that it has on it, I don't need, and a lot of things that I do need, it doesn't have on it. Um, I just felt like I had individual needs. Like I'm not bringing an iron or an ironing board, but the checklist said to. They just have fully set up dorm rooms um, in their catalog and they're a little over the top for like being functional as a traditional college dorm because of like how um, fancy they are in comparison to like what your typical college setup would be. They look pretty young and sadly no one's apartment, no one's apartment or uh, dorm is quite that colorful. So it doesn't seem real, it seems more childish. Because this aisle cracks me up. They like know their target audience so well. So you have K-cups and coffee makers and thermoses and then you have ramen and popcorn. Like, they know what we eat. I feel like there aren't many standards like for college, like lifestyle stuff. I like how random it is. It's like almost curated almost or like put together in such a way it looks good. Oh, that's smart. On top of your mini fridge. <laughs> what is that? It's like a, so smart. It's like you can like put plates and like forks. Wow. <laughs> the fonts and stuff that's written on there it looks a little bit young for me. Um, like these look like teenagers going, I would say these, if I were to say like where these kids are going, it looks like teenagers going to high school rather than undergraduates going to class. I just, I don't really care for the matchy matchy print stuff. It's very matchy matchy to me, so that's not really what I'm into. A bunch of stuff that like, I, a high schooler wouldn't use, but like the pictures lead me to believe otherwise. Like I probably would be doing my homework on my bed, so like the computer, the laptop on the bed, or like over here. This girl, like laying, this is how I lay on my bed like all the time, you know, so I don't know, it just, I feel like they're more accurate. But there's nothing on the cover that immediately makes me want to go in and look. Um, unlike the Bad Math Beyond, that had like the campus edition, it had, um, they also have like a pack and hold thing where like I guess if you buy it there you can pick it up wherever you go to school. It's like very clean. This seems a little more like less generic and so it feels because it's less generic it feels a little more targeted I guess. I don't know the stuff just came to life in the magazine but not really in the store. Okay. So I feel like I'm in this weird space between this is like family store like where mom is coming to shop and then also like little kids going back to school. My pictures, I love going on it because I love getting ideas from it. So whether, um, and I've already been looking on like, oh, home decor and stuff and like stuff with, like furniture and all that. When I was at the dorms, I didn't really make it very homey or anything. So I wanted to like make my apartment like, oh, I wanna, you know, if someone comes, they're like, oh yeah, we know this is the EV section of the room or whatever. I would say, I mean, Google's an ambitious company. They're taking on a lot of new technologies um, and they're constantly trying to evolve. Like trying on Toms, I was like more, like I was more eager to try on Toms and like be like, oh, do I want these? And like more willing to buy them because of their philosophy.